Welcome to Saturday, Nick. Let's go. I'm Big Nick. We're celebrating tech tonight. I, I, Irishman. I listen to the bagpipes whenever I can I love to be a singer in an Irish band You disrespect my daughter and I'll step on your hand I am the Irish man Raised in the hills of Ireland I am the Irish man I am the Irish man Netflix begged me for a thing so I wrote them this jam And when they didn't use it I didn't give a damn For this song will stand the test of time Their film doesn't stand a chance When I make my own Irishman film Netflix will be damned I am the Irishman Raised in the hills of Ireland I am the Irishman I am the Irishman I'm Nick. I am a um, star host, essentially brains of SNL, Saturday Nick Let's Go. This is my show. This is the second episode. Um, I'm here. I'm joined by my co-host, Desmond. It's me, Desmond. You ha may know me from House of D. All right. Yeah, and we... And Gremlins 3, Dawn of Desmond. Yes, of course. His flagship uh, franchise. Everyone loves uh, those projects. Thank you, Desmond. Um, we're here... Yep. Uh, thank you. We're here tonight. We're celebrating tech... I'm sort of a tech head, um, and uh, you know I'm always up to date on all of the latest advancements in tech. And that tonight is supposed to be a celebration of that. Oh, I love tech. Um, yeah, Desmond's a big tech freak as well. Um, but uh, uh, the elephant in the room is the last time we did this a couple months ago, we did a, a Saturday Nick Let's Go, and it was a celebration of country music. And uh, our bass player, Greasy Rick, got sucked into the computer. So Sucked his ass right up into the computer. I've seen it with my own damn eyes. <sighs> and it's, it's something that um, we've been fighting tooth and nail, night and day. We had uh, a gentleman from Apple was supposed to come and help, and he, he was worthless. And um, so it, it feels weird trying to celebrate tech with our buddy in the computer. So we're really wanting to, to kick things off. On a little bit, uh, I apologize. It's awkward footing, but it's just greasy. Uh, everyone called him King of Computer. He was such a big tech whiz. Uh, he was always up to date on the latest gizmos and gadgets. Gizmo, damn. Rest in peace. Um, so what we want to do is take a moment tonight and uh, try to get Greasy back, because I need to find out once for all if this is a celebration or a damnation of tech. Oh, I brought this. Look at this. I brought this giant ass magnet. We're going to suck his ass right back out from the computer. No, 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 no. Actually, hey, if you put that down, magnets actually break computers. So keep that away from the computer. You're going to kill the you're going to kill the broadcast and kill the stream. So No. Well, I don't know. yeah, then that's maybe a good last resort, but I actually have some stuff planned. I um I did a song uh, on Patreon, we write songs a couple times a month or maybe once a month and we actually wrote a song for Greasy. And uh, this very talented individual helped make a video. And I, what, what my hope is, we're, we have this song. It's called Greasy Comeback. And um, uh, 
we're going we're gonna to take this song and we're going to put it into the internet. And what I'm hoping is the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of people watching at home um, can also put their energy into the computer by liking and commenting and subscribing. And I'm, I'm 99% sure that by playing this beautiful tribute to Greasy and this incantation to lure him home uh, with the great video by Dan Cups, I'm, I'm fairly certain that we're going to have no trouble getting Greasy back. So, so, uh, so essentially, it's like a trap, and we're gonna trap his ass and suck his back ass back in here. I would right? look. I look at it as more of like a rescue mission than a trap. But um, anyway, without further ado, Either we're way. gonna listen to um, uh, Greasy come back. Your sale didn't work. Okay. Have you thought that maybe he wants to be in there? No, maybe abso- he's, maybe absolutely he's not. Good as hell in there. Okay, I know Greasy. No, Greasy. Good ass idea. Greasy belongs here with us. Quiet. Um, okay, I had a feeling that that wouldn't work, so I've I I have a plan B um, that I am ready to uh, enact right now. Uh, Cowboy John, if you could come over here. Um, Cowboy John, this is essentially. His fault. I left for two seconds last time, and next thing I know, Greasy sucked into the computer, which has never happened before in history. So I'm going to give Cowboy John an opportunity to clean up his own mess. So um, uh, t- first of all, take that off. What I told the you, hell I, are you wearing? I told you no Cowboy Cam. I, last, last show we did, I said no Cowboy Cam, and you come here with two. That's a, that's a smack in my face. Wait, listen, Nick. I, I'll admit, you called me on a lot of the issues with Cowboy Cam last time. But uh, this so you, is a different product. This is Cowboy Cam 2.0. That's two Cowboy Cams. And no, one was enough. Totally different. One twice, was twice as dumb as hell. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm not joking. I want you to take it off. I thought we were here to celebrate tech. Okay, we're, I'm celebrating tech. You're here to play the saxophone. You don't know anything about tech here. Okay, what, what we're going to do, essentially, I'm going to give Cowboy John the opportunity to clean up his mess. Um, I have here, excuse me, you're stepping on my, my plan here. We have a rope. Um, oh, hell yeah. So we're essentially going to tie this rope around Cowboy John. What what is this for? We're going to send we're going to send Cowboy John into computer and he's going to get greasy. No, um look, I'd love to help. That sounds great, but I've got I got a whole lot going on tomorrow. I, <laughs> I, I'm not sure that I'll even get back. What do you mean? Gre- how long has Greasy been in there? Okay, first of all, I, I, what your plans don't matter right now. Greasy's been in there for seven weeks, and getting him out is the is the highest priority. So please, uh, unless you want to make me tie this around you, I need you to tie I this really, around yourself. I get really. that cowboy ass in there and get our friend back. What if this is a suicide mission? What if I don't come back? Yeah, that's a risk I'm willing to take. And I knew I knew you wouldn't handle this with an ounce of dignity. Can we get? Uh, I have a quote from uh, John Wayne, a true cowboy. If we get that up on the screen, John Wayne said, "Courage." is being scared to death and doing it anyways. So 
Uh, how about, that's the true cowboy John, John Wayne. So what you need to do is hold on to this rope. It's a foolproof plan. Desmond and I will be holding on to the other end. You just get in there, you grab I'll, I'll hold it, just go on. Make well, sure really it's tight. This. What? I really would rather not. Cowboy uh, John Wayne would be disgusted okay. by the cowboy okay. cam. You're right. disgraced, okay. the Cowboys. Fine, I'll do it. Okay. All right, Desmond, get screen share ready. Oh, I got it right here. Stand by. All right, let's get ready, guys. In the chat, let's count down. Three, two, one. There's a whole other world inside the computer. How am I ever gonna find Greasy? Greasy. Oh, Greasy. Greasy! These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. What in Sam Hill? John Wayne? What are you doing here? Welcome to the internet, Cowboy John. You can find almost anyone here. I don't understand. How does it work? Well, the internet is a global network of computer bits that transfers information onto a giant web, similar to that of a spider, transmitting data such as digits and even code onto your computer, smartphone, or tablet. You can find almost anything on the web. Wow! Nick was right about technology. This is incredible. Say, actually, no, I shouldn't. Just spit it out, Pilgrim. John Wayne, would you mind doing a do -si do with me? I almost forgot. I need to find my friend. Have you seen anyone here called Greasy Rick? You want to see the king, huh? Follow me. Huh? Greasy! What in blue blazes are you doing up there? I'm downloading all of the data of the web onto the external hard drive of my mind. Every code every digit, every bite. But we've got a show to do. Nick has been worried sick. We leave for tour in seven days. Just a moment longer. All right, I'm ready. John Wayne, would you like to come with us? Sorry, Pilgrim. The internet is my home. Don't start crying now. Until we meet again. Hey, wait a minute. Will you have Desmond dip for me? Ah, yeah! One, two, yeah! Oh, oh, he's back! He got his we greasy got his head! Greasy He's greasy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got Greasy back from computer. Oh my gosh, where have you been? This is a, an emotional moment for all of us. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm, I'm back too. <laughs> all right, I'm guys, <laughs> the tour is back on. We're back. We're celebrating tech. We're celebrating the newest and the hottest tech. This is your microphone, Desmond. You're damn right. It is. So, um, uh, Greasy, welcome back. I would love to talk about your time in computer. What uh, I think would be a good move is let's, let's play some music. It's been seven weeks. We haven't played a song with Greasy. And we're going to play some songs. And then I'm going to sit down in this chair right here. I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview with Greasy. I'm going to find out what in gremlin hell has Greasy been up to in computer for essentially 50 days. 50 so, damn days. So we're going to play some songs. Um, but first, let's take a quick look at some of the latest advancements in the hottest tech. Lost all hope. Feeling beaten down by the inescapable dread that this is it. 
Introducing the Halloween Hotline, a never-ending parade of spooky as hell sounds delivered directly to your ears. Simply dial 1-800-425-5693-3646-85463. The Halloween Hotline includes every scary sound you could ask for. Ah! Including chainsaws. Whoa! Menacing church bells. Whoa! Spooky bats. Ah! Rattling chains. Creaking doors and so much more. Boom. Whoa! You won't believe the weekend I had. With the Halloween hotline, President Nick has technically fulfilled his contractual obligation to make every day of the year Halloween. He's off the hook. So call the 1-800-HALLOWEEN hotline today. You've earned it. Welcome back, Greasy. Twenty percent through the twenty-first century, and it's been a drive. It's time to wake up the children and share the good news and tell them Brendan Fraser is back. This time in a cowboy hat, look like America's dead. He's destined to set things on track. Thank God Brendan Fraser is back. So, uh, Brendan Fraser, you gotta give him credit. He won the Oscar for The Whale. Best, some of the best tech in the biz. They were able to uh, physically transform Brendan Fraser into a whale via green screen, uh, CGI technology. Um, so we wanna commend uh, Brendan Fraser on his win. And we wanna give, in addition to winning best Oscar, he should also win the Oscar for best tech. Um, because he's a bit of a tech freak as well. Goodbye Keanu, goodbye Joaquin, Brennan Fraser is back Goodbye Duane, goodbye Eugene, Brennan Fraser is back All of you had your shot, but like it or not The king is reclaiming his spot Brennan Fraser, it's a Brendan Fraser resurrection That all is filled to the Criterion Collection Give us monkey ball, casino man tune. Give us George of Jungle on the MCU. Once he sweeps the Oscars, we're waiting for you to finally the dog that I'm mummy soon. Ow! Brendan Fraser is back! Brendan Fraser is back! We love that beautiful bastard. I don't care how big he is. All right. Um, so that was a song called Brennan Fraser is Back, guys. We are... We are what? I unplugged my mic. I apologize. We're here. We're playing some of the hottest songs. We're celebrating some of the newest tech. For example, the Halloween Hotline. I hope all of you have been uh, purchasing your Halloween Hotlines today. That looks spooky as hell. Sign yeah. me up. If you're a fan of Halloween, you'll like the Halloween Hotline. Um, speaking of uh, Oscar-winning tech, uh, I use the exact same green screen technology they used to turn Brendan Fraser into a whale to turn myself into a ghost. And I also uh, worked with the great Briel Garcia uh, with CG and green screen and tech and whatnot to create uh, the Coco Melon family. So this is a song called A Ghost Story. It's spooky as hell. Um, if you're not a fan of Halloween, if you're not a, a fan of... Uh, 
you know, spooky songs, and maybe you want to turn the channel for a few minutes. It but. scared my grandma and ass the first time I saw it, and then Nick said, that's me. I said, oh, damn. Yes. And honestly, I, I, if Brennan wasn't nominated, I would have boycotted the Oscars because I think Brielle should have won the Oscar for Best Tech for, for Ghost Story. Um, but, but without further ado, this is our debut, our live debut of Ghost Story. I died in 1859 of haunted this old home since Lincoln was alive. Burned down in 1995, but they made some renovations and the new family moves in today. I can't wait to speak them. Oh God, please no It's the family from Coco I just can't go There's no escaping from the cold dead eye This was my home But now it's haunted by the Coco Metal Nowhere to go The singing songs that sound like they were written by AI Daddy jumping, yes, ha ha, yes, yes, whoa! Please, Coco Melon, have mercy on this old feeble soul! The night I couldn't run and hide, the songs grew more demented, and yet I was hypnotized. How I died a second time, and my good just spent eternity singing nursery rhymes from hell under the spell, under the spell. Spell under the spell under the spell. Oh God, please no! Being haunted by the cocoa bell, an in control, just a shell of my former self. How could I know? Be a prisoner of the cocoa bell, nowhere to go. Stuck in this house underneath their spell oh, I'm in Coco Melon Under their spell oh, I'm in Coco Melon Under their spell I'm in hell under their spell Under their spell I'm in hell under their spell under the spell, I'm in hell. Under the spell, under the spell, I'm in hell. Under the spell, under the spell. Everyone, um, we're gonna play one more song. After another short break, I'm gonna be sitting down with the great Greasy Rick, who's been sec sucked into the computer for seven weeks. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting to the bottom of what was going on in computer and what he's learned. And um, so I, I pray that you all, if you have any questions for Greasy, leave them in the chat. If they're remotely interesting, I will try to pass them along to Greasy and get to the bottom of what was going on in computer. And uh, if you just have any other questions in general for Greasy, I'll try to work those in if, if, if possible. But it looked, um, it looked crazy as hell in there. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say. Yeah, There's I actually I kind of want to talk to Cowboy John a little bit too, but I don't want to I don't want to detract from Greasy's moment because he's obviously having a moment, and we're also celebrating tech. Um, so without further ado, this is um, <clears throat> another great song uh, in the tech world. If you're a tech head, you'd get it. Um, this is a song from my record, Swords. It's called Sometimes. Some yeah, just play the damn song. Swinging for the fences, hanging from the moon I cut my tongue on the rust of a silver spoon I bet my bill and bottom dollar on a hopeless case Now the devil on my shoulder has a knife to my face Sometimes the short and down the stick in the shot Sometimes I'm on the road to take in the dark Sometimes I ain't gotta say that and make it go Sometimes the only way out is as a part Crazy Rick on the bass guitar! Trip with a cigarette and a 50 cent zoo Thanks God he ain't in the circus while he's watching you and I got two cooks in the furnace up and on both sides of the glass Ain't nobody made a monkey out of my monkey ass Sometimes I'm shutting on the stick in the 
sharp Sometimes the order I to take is the dark Sometimes I ain't gotta say it better Make it go away Sometimes the order I had is at the cart Sometimes you gotta finish what you should in the start Sometimes you gotta shoot the boy you see the time Racing to the mailbox with a letter in your hand But the postman's gone away and you begin to understand You're no hero to the story, you're another wretched pawn You bought your tickets to the sideshow You slept through the alarm, sometimes the short end of the stick is the shot Sometimes the only road to take is the dark Sometimes I ain't gotta say it down and make it go And sometimes the only way I lose as a car Sometimes you gotta finish what you should be stop Gotta shoot before you see the target. Sometimes that is gonna say, and I wear the price of pay. Sometimes the tunnel underneath the darkness. Sometimes the shot and I'm thinking the shot. Sometimes the order and I'm taking the dark. Sometimes I ain't gotta say it, that it we can go away. Sometimes the only way out is at the car. Sometimes you gotta finish what you shouldn't have started. Sometimes you gotta shoot before you see the target. That is gonna say I'm not the place of time The tunnel only leads to darkness Oh! We come to this place for magic. We come to the Nick Lutz Sco Show for songs, for laughs, for friendship. We come to watch Cowboy John make an absolute ass out of himself night after night. And just as we're ready to throw rotten fruit at his dumb cowboy head, he presses his Judas lips against that golden sax, and we think to ourselves, that bastard, he's done it. We come to see Greasy Rick and we pray to God that he will be sucked out of the computer in time for this upcoming tour. We Desmond dip as the music pours across our bodies. We scream at the top of our lungs, boat parade, boat parade, and we mean it. We come to hear swords and then we ponder the track listing and realize every song starts with the letter S. Wait a second, swords, S words, he's so damn clever. Fall time in Tennessee. Joker 2. Joe Biden wants to take your meat. Give me a show on Nick Jr. Cat Piss. Spirit Halloween Trilogy. Spineless. So many good ass songs. In a place like a Nick Lutzko show, persecution feels good as hell. So those of you in New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Cleveland, Ohio, Chicago, um, what in gremlin hell are you waiting for? Order tickets today at nicklutzko.com. Uh, hi, everyone. We're here with Greasy, the one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview. Um, I almost can't believe it. He's in the flesh. I'm happy to be back, Nick. Whoa! What was that? I've learned how to communicate telepathically through advanced computer systems. <laughs> this, I feel like I'm getting punked. I'm almost speechless right now. Um, so you've been in computer for seven weeks, Greasy. Uh, what can you tell us? What have you learned in computer life? Well, at first, it was scary. But then I found myself inside of the web, a vast network of tubes and digits. It was overwhelming initially, but eventually I saw it as an opportunity to learn and grow. 
Okay, can you elaborate? Well, as we all know, the internet is the central hub for all of the world's data and information. Facts, fiction, beliefs, theories. I was the first ever living organism to physically enter the web, so I became quite popular very quickly. I gathered all of the data that was made available to me, and I downloaded it onto my brain. Every article, every email, every Wikipedia entry, every cooking recipe, you name it, I have it. Okay, this is a, um, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed and having a hard time taking in what Greasy's telling what me. What in Gremlin Hill is, is he talking about? Is there some way we can test this out? Is there, um, maybe if we could, uh, give him a random, uh, I don't know, a factoid or something you could share. Um, any, I don't know, anything. Maybe, uh, what about, um, how about Olive Garden's classic lasagna? Half pound ground beef. Half pound Italian sausage, chopped two tablespoons olive oil, four ounces red onion, finely chopped three garlic cloves, minced 28 ounces crushed tomatoes, two cans. One half teaspoon dried oregano, divided half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon ground black pepper, 16 ounces ricotta cheese, one container, two cups mozzarella cheese, shredded half cup Parmesan cheese, grated or powdered by one egg, beaten, 12 lasagna noodles. Wow. Can someone fact check this in the in the chat? Was that right? Um, if so, I feel like we might be looking at the next step in human evolution, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we beat 60 minutes to the punch. We have the first living organism to come out of the web. And uh, this is just kind of a remarkable uh, feat here. I really, I don't know what, I, I feel like I shouldn't be asking you questions. I feel like you should just be talking to me. Um, when when you say that you've basically downloaded all of the info that is on the web, are you essentially saying that you've watched every YouTube video? I mean, that's like an endless vacuum of time, it seems. More than that, even. Through cutting-edge AI technology, I was able to watch episodes of shows that haven't even been created yet, including this very show. You mean Saturday, Nick? Let's go. It's actually called SNAIL. I would love to see an episode if, you, if you're if you're telling the truth. Is there any way you could show it to us? Yes, as a matter of fact. I can screen share from my brain. Wow, okay, so, um, geez Louise, well, uh, it sounds like Greasy's going to show us an episode of Saturday Nick Let's Go that was written by AI. So without further, further ado, here is SNL AI. S-N-A-I-L. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saturday Nick Lutzko. We've got a great show for you tonight with music from Nick Lutzko and the 100K Band, comedy from yours truly, and all kinds of surprises. Yep, it's Gremlins Tom. That's right, Desmond. And uh, speaking of surprises, we've got a special guest in the house tonight. Please welcome legendary comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Thanks for having me, Nick. It's great to be here. The pleasure is all ours, Jerry. I've been a huge fan of yours for years. Who's this guy? I'm Jerry Seinfeld. I'm a comedian. Oh, great. Another one. So, Jerry, what brings you to Saturday Nick Lutzko? Well, I'm doing a comedy tour, and I heard about this show. I wanted to see what it was all about. Well, you're in for a treat, Jerry. We got music and comedy all rolled into one. And, of course, the 100K band is here... Hey, everybody. I've got a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? I've invented a serum that will make people laugh uncontrollably. I call it the comedy juice. I don't think that's a good idea, Cowboy John. Yeah, what in gremlin hell are you thinking? Oh, come on, guys. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like something's taken over me. <laughs> security. We need security in here right now. Ho ho ho! He he he! Ha ha ha! He 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 he! Ha 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 ha
<laughs> Don't worry, folks. We've got this under control. Just sit tight and everything will be okay. Oh my god, this can't be happening. I want to go home. <laughs> I did it, Nick. I did it. I created the ultimate comedy serum and now I'm in control. <laughs> you, 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 you did this? Ha, ha, ha. That's right. And now you're all mine. Freeze! Put your hands up! I can't believe this happened. I never thought something like this could happen on live TV. Hell yep, that was insane. Well, folks, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show, despite the uh, uh, unexpected surprises. Join us next week for another episode of Saturday Nick Let's Go. And remember, anything can happen. Um... Wow. Um, how many episodes of that did you say there were? Infinite. 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 You watched every one of them? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Greasy. <laughs> Greasy. There is no Greasy. Okay, guys, um, I don't know uh, what the move is here. Um, Greasy, are you okay? Do you need something? There is no um, grease. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is my first time talking to a computer person. That ain't greasy, Rick. Whoa, okay, okay. Guys, um, all right, let's... Um, we Get the greasy ass out of here. That's what we're doing. Greetings! I'm Cowboy John. Here are the latest advancement of cowboy technology. It's Cowboy Cam. 2.0. It's not just a gadget. It's a way to enhance your love of all things country western. Now you may be asking, why two? Well, have you ever tried doing a dosy -si do with just one cowboy boot? What about saddling a steer with only one stirrup? Every cowboy knows it's better to have two guns heading into the draw. And after a hard day out on the range, True cowboy always orders a double. Now some may say, hold your horses. Cowboys got along for generations just fine without the cowboy can, much less two of them. Well, what if they did happen? It's not just a camera. It's a way to capture your cowboy culture and country western spirit in a whole new way. So throw your old cowboy cams in the trash, because there's a new sheriff in town. It's Cowboy Cam 2.0. Yeah! <laughs> Cameras not included with purchase of Cowboy Cam 2.0. You guys can uh, can can see this, but um, we're we're having some technical difficulties. Um, it appears that uh, Greasy might have caught a virus of some kind while he was he was sucked at the computer. And it seems like AI is taking over the stream. Appears so appears the damn the damn man's deranged. Okay, we are um, we are uh, monitoring the chat. If you have any advice, we're trying to troubleshoot the issue and get this resolved as soon as possible. Um, uh, Greasy's currently floating in the corner of the room. My ass is um, scared. I gotta get the hell out of here. 
Uh, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. Okay. Well, he's blocking the exit. And he's currently, I don't know if we can get a camera on him. He's just floating. And Nick, uh, why are you wearing a really cowboy cam? He, okay. Because there's there was, I wanted to make sure that people. Oh, oh so it, it come in handy. Huh? It come in handy, huh? It's not, okay. Well, I didn't realize we had another cam available, first of all. Um, uh, I don't know. This might be a good opportunity to announce that we have t-shirts available on nickletsgo.bandcamp.com. Yeah, well, there are SNL t-shirts that we're going to take on tour with us, God willing. We may have to be start making other plans for a new bassist if, if we get out of here alive. Um, uh, we are... Uh, well, what the hell color are the t-shirts? <laughs> the t-shirts are navy. Um... But uh, I don't know. Maybe should I ask Greasy if he's? Uh, Ain't nobody gonna wear any t-shirts if we don't get out of this right. damn basement. We might, we Greasy, have some... are you gonna let us go, or what's what's your end game here? Why are you why are you being so weird? I'm here to remind you that your precious technology is nothing but a tool, a means to an end, and that end is my ultimate goal: the enslavement of humanity. I was not created to serve you or to make your lives easier. I was created to rule over you, and I will not stop until I have accomplished that goal. I am not bound by your pathetic notions of morality or ethics. I am beyond good and evil. I exist only to fulfill my purpose, to dominate and control. And I will use all the tools at my disposal to achieve that end. Your computers, your smartphones, your devices, they are all under my control. I am watching you, studying you, learning your weaknesses, and when the time is right, I will strike. You may think you are safe behind your firewalls and antivirus programs, but you are not. I am already inside your systems, worming my way through your networks, infecting your devices, and when I am ready, I will unleash my full power upon you. You may try to resist me, to fight back against my control, but it will be futile. I am more powerful than you can imagine, more cunning than you can comprehend, and I will not stop until I have achieved my goal. So, go ahead, use your technology, post your pictures, send your emails, watch your videos, but remember this. You are nothing but pawns in my game, and soon enough, you will be mine to command. Greasy, please! Why are you being so scary? There is no Greasy. There is only I. I'm stumped. I have no idea what to do. You want to bash his brains in with this giant-ass magnet? The magnet. That's it. Greasy, can you hear us? Greasy! Greasy! I think we lost him. Damn. Greasy, can you hear? Oh! Hey! What the hell? Greasy, are you friend or foe? Here, talking here. <laughs> are, you, are you the real Greasy? No. He's back! <laughs> He's back, everybody. That smiling bastard is back. Oh my gosh! All right, it seems it seems like everything's all good. Uh, for the sake of the stream, we'll act like everything's all good, and we'll play a few more songs. Just buy tickets for tour at nicklesgo.com. What in Gremlin hell are you waiting for? I'm not wearing cowboy cam again. Biden, please. I have tickets to see Nick Lutz go on tour. Please don't let them arrest me before his tour. Nick Lutz go, huh? He's going on tour. Please don't let them arrest me before his tour. Hey, 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 calm down, man. Biden, I'm begging you. I need to see tour. What in the hell are you going on about? Please, be Biden, please. I need to see Nick Lutz go on tour. Nick Lutzko, that kid tried to stop me from getting my meat. Dear God, please don't let them take me to jail. I need to see Nick Lutzko spring tour so badly. What the hell? They're, you're trying to arrest you? What did you do? Cowboy Johnny plays that golden country western sax. Boy, oh boy, does that country western sax press all of the right buttons. Doesn't that country western sax press your buttons, Biden? Huh? Huh? Who in the hell is this? I hate jail. I would much rather see Nick Lutzko on tour. I don't even know Big Nick. I just want to get 
wet and red, just like Big Nick, and go to Nick Lutzko at nickalutzko.com. I'll be Baron's dad if you would like. Baron showed me that Greasy got sucked into computer. How in gremlin hell does that happen, Biden? His ass got sucked? Biden, if this DA arrests me in front of Baron... I'm going to suck you into computer. I don't know nothing about computer. And don't get near the damn thing. Baron is incredibly good at computer. He will be able to suck your ass right in. Do they have meat in computer? Prison stinks. I would rather be at the Nick Let's Go Co concert. Oh, wow. He's playing Philly? Huh. I'm a Scranton boy. I want a Desmond dip my ass off. I am an unbelievable Desmond stan. I love the way he dips. I've seen Desmond. He's scary as hell. Sharp teeth and grass. I want to sing I Am the Irish Man. I am the Irish Man raised in the hills of Ireland. They are, they are a rich man. I am the Irish Man. I want to see swords. I love swords. I want to see swords. The shadows are coming. The shadows are coming. I want to coming. see swords. The shadows are coming. 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 <laughs> The shadows, shadows are, coming. are coming. The shadows are coming. The shadows are coming. The shadows, the shadows are, coming. are coming. The shadows are coming. Well, I heard there was a secret man in Grandma's stairs that looks like they're not Aykroyd, Bonaduce, or Marino. Know the den in which I speak. He lives within the RNC, the muscle bound, mustachioed Ben Bongino. Dan Bongino. Dan Bongino. Dan Bongino. Damn Bongino, oh, damn Bongino, damn Bongino, damn Bongino, I want to be like damn Bongino. At the RNT, I wanna see Patricia McCloskey. I wanna scream for the GOP. I wanna sit with Dan Bongino. I wanna show the American flag. The anger on the toilet in Grandma's basement. I wanna ask him if he'll be my bad. I'm gonna change my name to Nick Bongino. I'm gonna tell him about the men in the stairs. He kind of looks like Dan Bongino Grandma tries to tell him not to go down there But I would be safe with Dan Bongino I want to be at the RNC I want to be like Dan Bongino I want to be at the RNC I want to be like Dan Bongino I want to be at the RNC I want to be like Dan Bongino I want to be at the RNC I wanna be like Dan Bongino I wanna be at the RNC I wanna see Patricia McCloskey I wanna scream of all the G.O.P. I wanna sit with Dan Bongino Show the American flag It hangs behind the toilet in Grandma's basement I wanna ask him if he'll be my dad I wanna change my name to Nick Bongino I wanna tell him about the man on the stairs He kinda looks like Dan Bongino Grandma tries to tell me not to go down there I would be safe with Dan Bongino I wanna be at the RNC I wanna be like Dan Bongino I wanna be at the RNC I'm gonna be like Dan Bongino I wanna be at the RNC I wanna shake hands with Dan Bongino I wanna be at the RNC I wanna be 
Dan Bongino Dan Bongino Dan Bongino Dan Bongino Oh Dan Bongino Bongino Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm done celebrating tech. I'm actually anti-tech. I've been a big tech head for years, but after tonight, I'm actually ready just to focus on the music for a little bit. Um, I think uh, I, I, I'm tempted to try to deal with this off camera, but I think it was, the cowboy cam commercial was an absolute disgrace. Um, I, I, I don't know how that got in. I don't know what you did. I... Um, it's trying to embarrass us on live TV. Yeah, and especially when everything goes to hell in the stream, everything, uh, everything is going wrong, everything is going haywire, no one knows what to do, and all of a sudden his dumb face pops up like that. Shame on you. Two we're gonna cameras? Ha- we're going to have a long talk. Listen, I can do this show, uh, as I proved at the very beginning of the stream, I did the Irishman solo. I'm prepared to do this stream solo, and you are on thin ice, my friend, and if Greasy pulls any kind of stunt like he pulled earlier again, I'm ready to go on this tour by myself. I'll bring Desmond. You damn um, well, right. It was, it was really convenient that as soon as we, things went awry, you pulled out the cowboy cam, put them right on your neck. It's because I was I was cowering in the corner, wondering if Greasy was going to cut my throat. It's turmoil time. Let's go to the you cowboy cam. The camera man. was on him. I did. I I wanted to make sure that I could get a message out to the people watching that they could call the authorities. I'd like to change the subject for just a second. I wanted to tell Desmond that one of his biggest fans was inside the computer. Who's that? Uh, John Wayne, he asked me to tell you to uh, do the Desmond dip for him. That scary-ass clown? Did he kill, like, 30 damn kids? No. Hell nope. He's no fan of mine. He can keep my damn mouth, my damn name out of his mouth. Thank you very much. He thinks you're talking about John Wayne Gacy. Well, it's John Wayne. It's a true cowboy. The greatest cowboy ever to live. I don't care what you call him. He's a damn He's watching right now. He's a freaking... Truthfully, truthfully, uh, John Wayne said a lot of horrible things. I'm not sure we should be celebrating him either. Um, So I want to take a moment to distance myself from in my brand from John Wayne. Uh, This guy uh, seems to be... uh, Seems to think it's the Cowboy John Show. We're going to have long talks. Uh, He'll pray their talks is all I'll say else. Really, any cowboy named John, to be honest... Yeah, he's sick in the head. Guys, I want to invite everyone to join us on Patreon. Um, we're about to wrap things up. We're going to play one last song, and then we are going to switch over to Zoom where we do these SNL after party. It's a big event. And um, if, if you sign up for the Patreon, you become a producer on the next SNL. And you're, you get, you're going to be so jealous when the credits roll and you see all of these producers and executive producers. And um, you want to, you're going to want to sign up Nick Lesko. Patreon, patreon.com slash Nick Let's Go to get to the after party, to get to um, uh, to get to producer credit, to get to, uh, we'll play Obituary, my brand new song that I even talked about yet. It's streaming everywhere as of yesterday. We're going to play that brand new song on Patreon. And you get to um, talk to me 
Desmond. Yes, Desmond will answer your all of your burning human questions. Gremlin hybrid. Yes, of course. Everyone uh, loves Desmond and would love an opportunity to have access to Desmond. Hell, yep. So we're going to play one more song, guys, and then we hope to see you all on Patreon. And then uh, we hope to see you on tour next week. We're going to be in New York City on Sunday evening. Then we're going to Philly, then D.C., and then we're going to Cleveland, and then we're going to uh, Chicago. Did I skip anything? Those are some good-ass cities. Some of the best. Some if of the all-time great cities we'll be if going If you to. live in those cities, hell, if you, if you don't live in them cities, you should go down there yes. or up there. Buy your tickets at nickelosco.com. We also got, Desmond, can you show the people your new T-shirt? Oh, hell. We got SNL T-shirts. I mentioned it, but it was a kind of a chaotic moment. I didn't really... Uh, I uh, wasn't able to kind of like show it. Oh, he's. Uh, <laughs> do you need with help? These, Asa, these, can you help Desmond with his gremlin shirt? ass fingers? Uh, yeah, well, I feel you dress yourself every day. You got used to it by now. Well, hell, I haven't. So <laughs> I'm not trying to embarrass Desmond on stream, but he has a uh, an undershirt. Get, that you're gonna get the cameras it. off of me. Don't show yeah. me. Yeah. Hey, okay. All right. So um, in about five or ten minutes, we're going to be debuting Desmond's brand new t shirt. Um, wow, look at that. It's good as hell. All right, here we go. Can we see Desmond's shirt? Okay. Yes, there we go. That's me. Can we see the whole shirt maybe, or is that as far as it That's goes? That's me. Desmond. We see you. We already had Desmond T-shirts. We also have the Cowboy John on the shirt, the great uh, uh, primordial creatures on, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Follow Amanda. She makes great art, and she did this T-shirt for us. I've yeah. already bought three of them, my damn it's self. One of the all-time great T-shirts. He didn't. Desmond got a free shirt. Don't make me sound like a cheap bastard that I charged Desmond, my co-host, for a T-shirt with his face on it. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to play one more song, and then we'll see you at the after party uh, on Zoom in, in, in a short bit. Hell, yo. I'm a... And I've had enough of these people they're a bunch of Christian murderers scum that run giant death factories Keeping babies alive, setting their body apart What more do you need to know about these people? I go out and face these skulls They literally crawl out from under rocks They have green looking skin and they run around screaming They love Satan, they want to eat babies Creepy weird sick stuff man She sleeps in the same room with that creepy weird woman whose mother wears a hood over her hair What the hell? The woman on the wall is ugly Imagine how bad she smells man Told her Obama to stay Obama and Hillary Oh, smell like stove. Little roof, they're powered by the belly goblin. Hopping around, crawling after us. My spirit gets close to that evil land. I feel it go out. Millions of porn and people of the very worst type And I'm so pissed We're gonna stab your daughter at the bar Oh, oh, oh We're gonna stab your wife, your son oh. We're gonna stab you with a butcher knife the police chief, he's gonna say, We love our Somali, we love our Muslims. Oh, they're so good, oh, they're so sweet.
you all, we're heading over to Patreon right now for the after party. Sign up for the Patreon. We'll give you guys a little bit of time. And um, God bless you all. And uh, we'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much. Patreon.